Hi, I'm David and this is Todd, and welcome to a Radiological Emergency Response Field Team. Today we're going to talk about Rad Responder and how to set it up. Rad Responder is a computer program which allows field teams to collect data in the field and upload it to a server where it can be later retrieved for dose assessment. Displayed here are the different instruments that you'll need as an operator. Check to make sure that you'll have a Surface Pro tablet, a stylus for the Surface Pro, a charging cable for the Surface Pro, a GPS unit with its holder, and a charging cable for its holder. As well, you'll need a standard operating guide and a Ludlum 2241-3 emergency response kit. This kit will include the meter itself, a cable for the meter, a pancake probe, a high range probe, a scintillator probe, a side window probe, and two batteries. In addition, there are some extra supplies that you'll need, a few extra batteries, some rubber bands, and some extra baggies. Let's get started setting up the Ludlum meter. There are going to be a few additional steps that we're going to have to get our meter ready before we can set it up with the RAD Responder Network. The first is going to be putting the batteries into the battery compartment. Then take the cable and connect it to the meter. After that's done, you can take the probe and connect it to the cable as well. Turn the meter to the appropriate channel, which will be listed on a sticker on the appropriate probe. In this case, the channel is number four. Before turning on the meter, be aware that there's an important number that's going to be displayed on the meter face that you're going to need to record. There it is. That's an important number. Write that down for later. Now look at the Ludlum meter and see if there's a blue light flashing. This light is an indicator that the Bluetooth is active. If there's no blue light flashing, make sure to contact your RDL or the FTC for more assistance. Now that the meter's taken care of, take the Garmin Glow GPS unit and turn it on. There are two main lights that you're going to be concerned with, the green one and the blue one. First, let's talk about the blue one. The blue one is an indicator of the Bluetooth. So if it's flashing blue, it's searching for a device to connect to, but if it's solid blue, it's actually already connected. The green light is the status for the satellite. If it's searching for a satellite connection, it will be flashing green, and if it's solid, that means it's found one. Great, the GPS is set. Now we're going to start working with the Surface Pro tablet. The first thing you're going to do is take the tablet out and make sure that it's facing the right direction. Make sure that the tile button is on your right. Turn on the tablet by pressing the power button located at the top left hand corner. You'll now log in using your password, username, and Windows password provided with the standard operating guide. Once you're in, tap on the desktop tile. Make sure that you're connected to the internet, then double tap the RAD Responder icon. You may be asked to log in and sync data. If prompted, follow the instructions. Once that's completed, you'll see an event screen. Select the ongoing event and click on Devices. This is where you'll check that the Ludlum meter and the GPS are connected to the software. First, let's look at the Ludlum meter. Look at the serial number that's on the meter and match it to the number that's on the device screen. Click on the black right arrow next to the meter number. Once you're at the device configuration screen, click on the triangle to the far right of the type list box. Remember the firmware number we recorded earlier? If it was an 18, Choose Ludlum 2241-P-10-18. If it was anything but 18, choose Ludlum 2241-P-10-12. Now click Connect. You'll know if the meter is connected if you see data in the data window. Click on the black left arrow to go back. Then click on the arrow again and you'll arrive at the event screen. We also want to make sure that the GPS is recording location information, so let's get that set up now. Click on the location pin icon to open GPS settings. Under location type, choose Garmin Glow and save changes. Great, the GPS is set up now. Let's do one last check to make sure everything is connected properly. Go back to the event screen and then click on the record data button. Then, under the survey menu, click the plus button. You should see several pieces of data that will be updating automatically if everything's connected correctly. There will be a meter display that shows the reading, as well as the GPS location, which will update as you move. If everything looks good, you've successfully set up Rad Responder. Thank you for taking time to be part of the Radiological Emergency Preparedness Response Team. 
As you know, our unit is quite small, and without you, we would not be able to complete the important task of protecting the citizens of the state of Michigan in case of a radiological emergency. These videos are designed to help supplement your existing knowledge about emergency management duties that you may be assigned. We look forward to seeing you at our next demonstration. Thank you.